Hello everyone, welcome to my latest tutorial. Uh, in this tutorial I'm going to teach you this really great effect. Um, I've picked up off YouTube but I've made it my own. As you can see these clouds in the background and they it just looks really nice. Um, I'm going to be using this as a iPhone uh, background image. Uh, so yeah, if you just want to copy me, we'll make this. So we'll first go to File, New, and the width of the iPhone screen is 5 centimeters, and the height is 7.5 centimeters. Uh, resolution 350 and background contents. Uh, we'll just leave that at white for now, we'll change it in a second. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is fill the background with black. Okay, now we'll just create a new layer and we'll select our paintbrush. And we'll just get a nice size paintbrush for this. Oh, that's a good size. That's 1,557 pixels. Okay, so just selecting a nice color, like a neon colored color. Uh, just put your brush in the center of the screen and hit, uh, just click once. And you get a nice blob. Okay, so just double click on the layer that you did the blob on. And we are going to click Gradient Overlay. Now, when you come up with this dialog box, we'll click on Gradient. And we'll just change the colours here to suit our needs. So the first colour I'm going to choose is that nice blue. And the next colour after that I'm going to choose is a nice pinky purpley colour. Okay, and that looks pretty good. Now, after that, we're going to create a new blank layer on top of that, and we're going to go to Filter, Render, Clouds. Okay, then we'll just switch this to Overlay. And as you can see, you get a nice cloud effect on top of the gradient overlay that we had. Um, if you don't like those clouds, you got filter, uh, render, different clouds. And from there you can just keep pressing Ctrl and F until you get the clouds that you want. I'll go with this one. Okay, so that's our clouds done. We want to right click on the top layer and we'll flatten the image. Okay, from there again we'll go to File, New, same settings. We want the background to be black. and we'll create a new layer. On this layer we'll get our text and whatever you want to write on it. Uh, I'm using the font Birth of a Hero and we'll change the font colour to white. Okay, so just click and type what you want. Um, I'm going to type YouTube. Okay, and just hit the tick. Uh, Control T to transform, and we'll just scale this up to make it our desired size. Okay, and just center that, and hit the tick again. Okay, from there we want to double click on our text layer, and we'll go down to uh, Outer Glow, and just click on OK for now. Create a new blank layer on top of that, and select your paintbrush, and from here we want to choose some nice neon colours, nice bright colours, doesn't matter what, uh, choose whatever you like. Okay, so and just paint over the top of your letters, uh, get a, no a fair few nice colours in there. Nice big blobs. Dark blue. Okay. 
from there we will change that layer type to color and we'll get back down to our text uh, our text box and we'll double click on that layer again select outer glow and we'll just change the size until you get a nice glowing effect and look at that that looks beautiful click OK and we'll select these two layers uh, hold down shift and select the next layer and control G is to group it okay from there we can go back to our other layer uh, with the clouds and we'll just click on the layer at the uh, click on the file at the top and we'll drag it down so we have a uh, we can now drag that layer into our other box and there you have it that's a fairly good effect. Um, my name's Chase. If you like, would if you would like more of these videos, please comment, rate, and subscribe. Uh, thank you.